What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Case Digital. My name is Zach and in today's video we're answering the question of how to select a bounding box or some region of interest in Python using OpenCV. So what we've working with, we're working with it, with this image called thumbnail.png and basically this is just one of my old thumbnails from one of my previous videos but um, I want to show you how I'm going to select basically my face and then how you can get that information and do whatever you want with it. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. Go. All right. So with this thumbnail, we first actually need to load it into our Python script. So that way we can uh, get the bounding box. So to do that, uh, essentially I have in my script over here, I, we've imported um, CV2, the CV2 library. And if you haven't um, watched one of my previous videos on how to like display a video in Python, which I'll leave a, uh, one, somewhere over here, I'll leave a, uh, a link so that you can you can view it. But essentially you'll need to install or pip install um, OpenCV-Python. Um, and I already have that installed, so we're not gonna go ahead and do that. But essentially assuming you have it installed, um, what you can do is get the path to your your uh, video, and then we're gonna load it, we're gonna load in our image. So I'm just gonna say image is going to be equal to cv2.imread, and then pass in the image path. And then just to verify this, that it's all loaded, we can say print image. And what you should see here is a um, basically a multi-dimensional uh, array uh, and that contains all like the pixel information. So if I run this, um, you'll see that, boom, just like that, I can pull this up, you have all these values right here. And this is basically all the pixel information for our current video. Uh, or, or for our current uh, thumbnail that we're, we're messing with. So now that we have that, it's time to actually use one of um, the functions that CV2 gives us or uh, OpenCV gives us that can just easily help us select in our, uh, our bounding box or our region of interest. All right, so that function that we can use that's from OpenCV is basically we're going to return our X, Y values of the top upper left corner of our, um, you know, of the region of interest or the bounding box that we're trying to find, as well as the width and height of kind of that region of interest. So to get that, um, or so we're just going to type out X, Y, W, and H is going to be equal to, and then CV2 dot select ROI. And then what we're going to do with this is you got to just kind of like how um, with all OpenCV stuff that I've been finding is uh, you have to like, the, usually the first thing is like the window name, just like this, um, this tool tip helps us is that you've got to get the, the, the tool or the window name. So that we're just going to say select ROI. And then what it wants us is we need to pass in the image that we're gonna select from. So we're gonna pass in our image object. And then there's a couple other things that you can pass in like from center or show the crosshair. So we're just gonna say from center and then from center is equal to false. And I'll show the difference between the false and true here in a minute. And then we'll do um, show, oops, show crosshair is equal to true. Now. When we get this, like I mentioned, you're gonna get out just the X and Y, which should be kind of like the, like if, if I choose on here on this image, Essentially, it'll be like if I choose, click here and then drag over and create this region, it's gonna be this this X, Y value that I click at and then the width and then the height of that bounding box. Um, so to do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna print all that information out. So just say print and we're going to use an F string to do that. And I'm gonna say X is equal to, and then I'm just going to copy, oops, I'm just gonna copy this and print this a couple times. Y, W, H. And now if we go ahead and run this, we should see essentially something pop up, allow us to select a region of interest. And then when we hit enter or escape, um, then we should see what area, the information that we printed out. So let's go ahead and give that a try. So if we go ahead and select this, and now you see that our image has popped up. Now, like I mentioned, like that select ORI that I, we pop, we typed in up here, or we typed in um, right here, that becomes basically the title of kind of like that pop up or that screen to show us. And then what you can see down here with, um, in, in our application, it says select an ROI and then press space, not escape, my bad, space or enter button. And then if you want to cancel the selection, you can um, just do that by doing uh, C. So to show you, say I like come in here and I start selecting, I click down on my mouse and then I drag over, you can see like, hey, that's got the crosshair. Um, and then if I let go, I can go over here. But if I, like it said, if I want to cancel, I can hit C and then it'll just, it's canceled the process and it says that we have not chosen anything. So if I come back here and I rerun this, what I can come in here and do is I can say grab our region of interest and then I can hit enter. And just like that, you can see that our X value is um, 862, our Y value is 14, and then our width and height are right there. So that is essentially how you can select a bounding box in Python using OpenCV. Um, 
Um, just a couple of other things just to mention, if you do this true for the start from center, it'll be a little bit different because you'll see that um, when I rerun this, basically it's going to start like from the center, like you're gonna create the center from the, the bounding box center rather from the top left corner. And you'll see like I clicked from the center and I drag out and it creates our bounding box. Now, I personally don't really like that. So I kind of always kind of like to use that uh, from center is false, which I can't remember if it's false automatically or not. But then also this uh, show crosshair, you can hit the, you can turn to false and then we can rerun this. And you'll see when I create the bounding box, there's just a bounding box. There's not the you know crosshair that's within the center of it. And I could hit enter there, and now there is my X, Y, and the width and height. Now from here, you can do other things, like you can use this information to draw on the image, or you can use this information to plug into some of the formula or some of the calculation that you're doing. But essentially, this is how you can leverage OpenCV and its functions that it has built in to grab your region of interest or a bounding box that you're interested in within an image. So if you have any questions, um, please leave them in the comments below. I have also um, created a, a Google Forms thing where if you have any questions that maybe aren't related to this specific topic that you want answered or that you've been looking for help on, um, you can. there should be a link in the description below that you can you know click on that, fill out the, your question in that Google Form, and then I'll get it and then I'll try and make a video off of that. So um, but again, yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below that regard to this. Otherwise, leave them in the Google Form. Um, if you've liked this, this, please hit the like button or share it and let others um, that are on the same journey kind of help them find this answer to uh, this question as well. So until next time, keep on programming.